All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Heart Friday. So today, yeah, another Yubel card. I, don't, I mean, I'm, I'm appreciative that you guys send me cards for Fake Heart Friday, but they don't always have to be related to Yubel. Like, just because I'm Yubel Master, and it's like, oh, Yubel needs some more support. I'll make a fake card, and then you'll really like it on Fake uh, Card Friday. It's like, nah, it doesn't have to be Yubel related. I mean, I don't mind it, but yeah, I guess it's really easy for me to judge whether a card is good for Yubel or not, since I am Yubel Mastery. But, uh, yeah, today we have, as you can tell, this is the... The Supreme King, yeah, Supreme King. Now he's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. This is weird, but I guess the yeah, Belt is technically a card, so why can't Dayton be a card? Anyway, the Supreme King is a dark level eight warrior fusion effect monster. Three thousand attack, three thousand defense. That's a really good. One fiend type monster plus one level six or higher dark monster. Okay, that's that's really easy. So I just go Doom Shaman, summon you Bell, and there you go. There's my fiend type. There's my level six or higher dark monster. So. Yep, yep, I think that it was made a little bit too easy, like, specifically for, like, of course, Super Vice Bell, which is probably the most famous of all the Evil decks that I play, so. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the effect. Cannot be tributed. Okay, so, you can't go first form you Bell and tribute, or I guess you can't get Monarch Storm for it, so I guess that's nice. You can't, this card cannot be tributed, but I think it's mostly first form you Bell. You can't go first form you Bell, tribute this monster, to keep itself on the field, so. That's not a terrible effect. Must be Fusion Summon. Or special summon for your extract by attributing the above cards you control. You do not use poly. It cannot be special summoned by other ways. Okay, so I don't even need poly. I literally just go swing of memories, doom shaman, doom shaman, summon you bell, and then just tribute these two contact fees into this. Simple. Really simple. For a, a nice 3,000 attack, 3,000 defense monster, I hope the, the effect is totally worth it. Uh, cannot be destroyed by battle. This is a monster with 3,000 attack and 3,000 defense. Like, what the hell is destroying me by battle? But I guess. Peels has the Campy Destroy battle, but, you know, I'd much rather exchange that for Campy Destroy card effect. That way I can have synergy with, um, with, uh, Terra Incarnate, you know? Like, right now, 3,000 attack, 3,000 defense, you know, I'm trying, you know, fusion, well, should be fusion. I'm kind of getting this Neo Swiseman feel. So instead of Neo Swiseman, it's just the Supreme King. So it can't be destroyed by battle, but 3,000 attack, 3,000 defense, I'm not really worried about battle, you know? Card effect? Sure, you know? So that way I can have Terra on the field with this, so... If you want to go ahead and change that so this card can't be true by card effect instead of battle, I'd be fine with that. Uh, you take no battle damage from battle on this card. Okay, so it's, I, I guess this is the Yubel effect. So it's like, it can't be true by battle, you take no battle damage. It's 3,000 attack and 3,000 defense. Like, if it's 0-0, zero, zero, then yeah, I'd understand, but no. So, yay, I have a 3,000 monster that can't be true by battle, and I take no battle damage from battles involving this attack. <laughs> like, uh, seriously, I have 3,000 attack monster, I seriously doubt that battles the way that you're going to end up dealing with this monster, whether it be Dorsha by a card effect, like you just throw a Gekki at me, or you target me through, you know, Castell or something on those lines, like, really? Destroyed by battle? No. And at the end of the damage step, this card battles an opponent's monster, and that monster is not destroyed by battle, you can destroy it and then draw one card. Okay, I mean, I guess, so, unlike... The Yubels, I don't inflict the damage back to him like Ultimate Nightmare, but uh, the monster that I battled that wouldn't be destroyed, but oh wait, I'm a 3,000 attack monster. <laughs> if I must be battling something extreme, like what, what the fuck am I battling where my 3,000 attack doesn't handle it, and then I take no damage, but monster isn't destroyed, I destroy them, and then I draw a card. Like, nah, I don't like that. I don't like that. I'd rather be not destroyed by card effect, and before, I get it, you want to put the Yubel effect on it, but... The stats, the stats don't match up. The whole thing with Yubel is like, hey, I may have zero attack and defense, but I got a powerful effect, so come at me. This is like, yeah, I got a powerful effect that doesn't really fit me, and also I'm a 3,000 attack beater, so. <laughs> you know, and I can't be sure I battle despite the fact of being a 3,000 attack beater. Like, I get it, Beals, but at least Beals also can't be sure I card effect, but I don't know, I don't know. Uh, you must have Yubel, Yubel Terra Incarnate, or Yubel Ultimate Night Air in your grave to activate and resolve the effect. Well, how I'm probably going to be summoning this, which is Doom Shaman, Summon Yubel, then I contact Fuse, I'm probably going to have the Yubel in my graveyard, so, okay. Uh, all these cards face on your on the field. Your opponent cannot banish cards in their graveyard. Alright, got a little bit of competitiveness in there, but it's not terrible. And it'll just do against that, uh, I'm assuming that's for Cosmos, because they can't banish cards in their graveyard, therefore they can't float, you yeah. know? So, also a little bit of PK action, I guess, and... Monarchs too, you know, just, I have a summon field, you can't banish, uh, you know, to summon Prime, you can't banish to summon, 
uh, what, Ether, you can't banish to do your Pantheism, so a little bit of competitiveness doesn't hurt anybody. But well, I'm thinking Cosmos, because I'm a 3,000 monster, I can't be sure battle, so you can't crash with me with your Dark Destroyer. Oh, but wait, you could just pop me with your Dark Destroyer effect. Oh, rip. So, yeah. You know. Uh, and then, if the, as long as this card's on the field, then you can't banish card you gave therefore your ships can't float. So, alright. We call if your opponent couldn't banish, period, but no, they just can't banish cards from their graveyard. And then their graveyard, not cards can't be banished from their graveyard, period, so they can still banish my UL and stuff, so. Anyway, face up monsters your opponent control must attack if able. Okay, and so I guess it's to go with the first effect, so it's like, oh, they have a really strong monster, they must attack, and uh, if they're attacking this, they get fucked up, or they're attacking to a UL that's on the field, they get fucked up. So it's kind of like a Savage Coliseum. I, I mean, I guess. I, I, I don't want my knife. I, I, I don't. I don't. You know, so pick your poison. Really, just pick your poison. And uh, if this card leaves the field, you can special summon one you bell from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Its effects are negated. So this is when I will be destroyed by card effects or just removed from field period, of course, unless I get cast out and return. But no, no, because I go back to the extra deck because I'm a fusion monster. So even if I get cast out, then I will still go off in the extra deck because I'm not a main deck monster. But uh, if I get, of course, 101, then I become an X material, then no, no effect. But uh, if this card leaves the field, if, and then it doesn't miss time, get special summon one you bell from my hand deck or graveyard, its effects are negated, so I'm summoning this monster effects are negated, you like what's the point of that? You bell still resolves in the graveyard. So, for example, if you summon you bell back through, like, Mass Chameleon, summon defense monster effects are negated, yeah, it's effects are negated on the field, so it can be destroyed by battle, but it resolves in the graveyard where it'll be like, hey, your bell is destroyed. Do you want the effect to summon tear? So that's that, That's the reason why it's like that. So, oh well, that effect's not bad either. So like I said, if I would change anything, uh, the 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 bell esque effect is cute, but the stats don't fit it. I would probably say this card can be destroyed by card effect instead of destroyed by battle. I said if you can get over three thousand, then you you deserve it. Like there's just no point or reason for a three thousand attack mode. monster to not be destroyed by battle unless it's doing something along the lines of like maybe like that twin blue eyes fusion monster like. Yeah, uh, the whole your opponent has to attack. That's fine. Uh, you can go ahead and keep that. Um, uh, at, the, at the end of the damage step, this card battles an opponent's monster, and that monster's not destroyed. Destroy it and draw one card. So if they do actually summon a monster that's stronger than this card in three thousand, and they attack into it, their monster destroyed. You get to draw a card. So I'm fine with that. Uh, so you can keep that fact. Just change the whole. Uh, cannot be destroyed by battle, take that off, change the card effect. You take no bad damage from battle mode's card, you can take that off. That's not even necessary. Like, if you're there getting over a 3,000 attack monster, then you should take the damage. Like, come on. Uh, the Having the bell in the graveyard of the is always effect, that's fine, I guess. Uh, while this card sits on the field, your opponent can't banish card from the graveyard, that's fine. There's a monster your opponent uh, must attack, that's good too. And it's just like the field, summon new bell from a hand deck or graveyard. If it's affecting it, that's also good. So, just a couple of tweaks. Overall, it's not a bad or terrible card. And uh, I appreciate you signing me this red card. So, uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. Of course, I'll be back next Friday with another fake card to look at. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.